Well, it's been a while since I've done any Transformers news, so let's discuss the big news of this week. It was rumored and then confirmed that the price of MP44 Masterpiece Optimus Prime version 3 will be 50,000 yen. That's about 450 US dollars, or 600 Canadian, or 350 British pounds, or a tenth of a Bitcoin. No matter what currency you use, that's a lot of money. Now, in addition to the price, we also got information on what exactly is included. First off, we have the main body, Optimus Prime himself. Next, we got Compartment, which is supposedly the trailer. Now, this has all been Google translated from the original Japanese, so some of it might not be exactly clear what it is. Next is the Cabin Anti-Aircraft Gun, which I assume is that little blue turret thing that's in the trailer. Next is Small Ball. Which, if you were to ask me, I would have thought was Vector Sigma, but apparently it's Roller. Next is his Energon Axe. He also comes with two beam special effects, which will probably work with his next accessory, his laser rifle or ion blaster. He also comes with something called an Energy Treasure, which I assume is an Energon Cube, as well as an Energy Supply Tube, which I'm guessing are those Energon Tubes from the first episode. Apparently he also comes with Spike, Carly, someone called Spike Pula, which we're assuming is Spark Plug. Hopefully they look better than the Spike that came with MP10. He also comes with his, or more accurately, Sideswipes Rocket Pack. There's also a Starscream Head and Starscream Wings, probably used to recreate the episode Megatron's Master Plan, where Starscream cosplayed as Optimus Prime. There's also an unknown item. I guess they're not ready to reveal everything just yet. Leave your speculation on that in the comments down below. He also comes with a replacement head carving, which I'm guessing is some sort of alternate head, since he also comes with a war damaged head and battle damaged chest parts, which will probably be used to recreate his final battle and death in Transformers the movie. And last and probably least is the character card. So that's quite a lot in the box. But still, for this price, I'm surprised a Masterpiece Huffer isn't included which was actually going to be one of the planned accessories for MP10, but it never came to be because it obviously would have driven up cost of the figure if he came with a whole other standalone figure. Can you imagine if they included a Huffer repaint with every MP10 repaint they did? Now this price has obviously sparked some heated debate among the Transformers community, mainly whether the $500 price tag is worth it. And if you're better off getting one of the third-party Masterpiece Optimus Primes, which are very similar in style to this one. First, there's the new company, Transform Element, and their pilot figure, TE-01. Now this one looks pretty good. Overall, it looks to be as good or better than the official one. It's a very clean design, without a whole lot of panels mashed together, like on the Takara one. The only weak points in my eyes are the head and crotch. I'm not a fan of the head sculpt on him. The eyes are too small, and he has a weird cut through his head crest, which I'm guessing is there for transformation or something, otherwise why ruin the look of his head like this? Personally I would have made concessions elsewhere rather than messing up the head for transformation. But the main thing is the crotch. First off, I'm not a fan of how it's cut. I know it's probably too allowed forward articulation, but it doesn't look good. Plus it's all translucent plastic, and translucent plastic isn't known for being the best material to use for joints. And then there's the color difference. It looks like the front is painted white, while the sides and back are silver. Personally, I think it should all be the same color. And finally, there's the bottom of the crotch. Now, funnily enough, they actually blacked it out in the color picks, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now onto Magic Square, similarly titled MS-01. In my opinion, this is the best looking of the three. He looks very clean, and is incredibly articulated. My only complaints about this one are the chest and the gun. Some people have complained that the chest is too broad. I think it looks fine. My issue is that he doesn't have that matrix cover that the others have. You just see the bare matrix in his chest through the windows. The matrix itself also appears to be very off model from what it's supposed to look like. And then the gun, eh, it just seems a little thin to me. It just doesn't look as thick and powerful as any phallic overcompensator should. And finally, there's the official MP44 Masterpiece Optimus Prime version 3.0, who's honestly the worst looking in my opinion. He just looks to be a mess of panels, 
similar to MP36, Masterpiece Megatron version 2, but at least he had the excuse of transforming from a gun into a robot. Optimus here we've seen his transformation done a million times before, and this new one just seems to be more complicated solely for the sake of being more complicated, to the point of it being a detriment aesthetically for the figure. There's much to say in the elegance and beauty and clever clean simplicity which it seems the third parties have nailed. This one, maybe it'll look better once we finally get color prototype shots and see all the accessories, but as for now, this is a pass for me. But let me know what you think of the latest MP44 news. Are you going to drop a week's paycheck on yet another Optimus Prime toy? Or is it third party superior, first party inferior? Or are you happy with your current Optimus Prime figure? Let me know down in the comments. And remember to leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends, share this video on social, and do whatever else it is people on YouTube say to do. And I will see you guys next time.